What's up everyone, it's Prometheus, and one year ago, this week, I put this coffee in the freezer. Put it in a bag and in a Tupperware and call it a day. I didn't use any sort of special vacuum sealers or anything like that, just pushed the air out of the bag, dropped it in the Tupperware, and now I'm gonna taste it. I'm gonna see what it looks like, what it smells like, and more importantly, what it tastes like, and see if freezing your coffee actually works on the long term. So first off, I can see right away that the coffee looks pretty normal. I let it sit on the counter overnight to let it defrost. If you open it too early, you risk condensation getting in there and it becoming kind of nasty. So I bought a fresh bag of the same coffee today as well to try it side by side. So let's dive in. So first, let's take a look at the whole bean. This is the coffee that I froze for a year and on further inspection, I don't see anything wrong with it. All the beans look pretty standard. I don't see any evidence of moisture or freezer burn. It, everything just looks like it should. And in terms of the texture, the way they feel, the way they smell, I wouldn't know the difference between that coming out of the bag or coming out of the freezer. So here we are with the coffee that came fresh out of the bag. And once again, I don't see any major differences. The only thing I would notice is basically issues with the bean themselves, not so much with the way they were stored. So I see a few uh, small issues with some of the beans that are in my hand here, but everything pretty much feels exactly the same, looks exactly the same, and smells exactly the same. So let's dive in to comparing the grinds. All right, so I'm gonna grind a handful of each of these coffees, lay them next to each other, and kind of inspect what the grinds look like, feel like, and smell like. And so this first coffee is the coffee that I froze for a year, and this one is the fresh coffee. So let me take a closer look. So first up, we have our year old coffee, and running it through the grinder, I didn't notice any difference in terms of how it came out. I didn't notice any difference. In fact, it came out a little less clumpy than the fresher grinds. That may have to do with moisture content. The way it smells is pretty much exactly the same as the fresher coffee, but I'll talk about that in a second. The only real difference I can tell is it feels a little coarser even though it was ground on the same level as the other coffee. Here is the fresh coffee straight out of the grinder, and as you can see there is a little more clumpage to that one, but it feels softer. It feels a little more pillowy, and I think that that may have to do with moisture content overall. There's a little more oil probably in this one than there is and the coffee that was in the freezer. That's one thing that I don't think you can maintain over time even when you're freezing it, but I'm no scientist. Next up, we're gonna pull some shots of this year old coffee. So one thing I noticed when dialing this coffee in is that I had to grind it a little finer than I grind the fresher coffee. And again, I think that is a moisture content, oil content situation. But overall, we'll see how it tastes back to back. So. I'm gonna pull this shot of our year old coffee. So far, everything looks and kind of is acting pretty much the same as a standard fresh bag of coffee would, but what's gonna come down to is how it actually tastes. One thing that did shock me is just how normally it extracted, how it smelled and how it looked. There was a good amount of crema on the shot itself pretty much looked like a standard shot of espresso. As you can see, it's doing exactly what it should be doing in terms of the three parts of the shot. You have the body, you have the heart, you have the crema, and everything kind of came together in a very standard way. And the crema is nice and thick. The shot itself showed no signs of any issues over the course of a year being stored in the freezer. It didn't taste off. There was no sort of staleness to it. Everything tasted really fresh, it was balanced, it was sweet. It didn't really leave me wanting anything more. It was a very nice, very clean shot of espresso. And as a natural skeptic, I was thinking that the freezer would, you know, pull some of the freshness and some of that, you know, uniqueness out of the coffee, but it didn't. All right, so let's dive into the fresh bag. 
So like I mentioned in the previous bit is dialing in this fresh coffee. I did have to grind a bit coarser and it wasn't like a dramatic amount. Just, you know, a couple notches on the Mazer to get it to be a nice flow, a nice even flow. But overall, you know, everything was pretty much the same. I pulled all these shots to the same specs, 21 grams in, shot for 36 grams out, and they all sort of ran as I expected, as a standard shot would. So there was no difference between pulling this shot and the other shot, with the year old coffee, other than a little change in grind. All right, so the fresh coffee, I do notice on the surface uh, some CO2 bubbles which happen when a coffee is pretty fresh, and I see some tiger striping, but that's the only main difference visually. Uh, the way it smells and tastes is pretty close. The biggest defining factor between the two is the acidity is kind of kicked up a notch on this one, and I'm not sure if I can attribute that to the age or if maybe a blend component over the last you know year has changed in this blend of two coffees. So overall though, I can definitely say that freezing your coffee is not a bad way to go. If you have some extra coffee laying around, you're not going to get to it. If you're going on vacation, chuck it in the freezer. Just get that air out of it, put it in a Ziploc bag, and forget about it. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe if you haven't already. Hit that little bell button for notifications on new videos posted every Friday. Follow me on Instagram at Prometheus, the blog at Prometheus.com, and as always, stay caffeinated, pony boy.